The prerequisites for this video include how to notice positive and negative slope, how to calculate slope using two points, and then how to find an equation of a line using two points. The first thing that we need to know about finding the line of best fit is to create a scatter plot. A scatter plot is a graphical representation of data. When you graph the points on a coordinate plane, notice how the points do not line up, hence the name scatter plot. There are three types of correlation. Positive correlation are when the points are forming an increasing tight pattern or a positive slope. The points can either form a tight formation or a wide formation. As long as the points are showing an increasing pattern or a positive slope, the data will have a positive correlation. Negative correlation is where the points are forming a negative slope. The points are decreasing. They could be tight, or in the other picture as it shows, they could be wide also, but still in a negative slope or a negative correlation. There is no correlation when the points do not have an increasing or decreasing pattern. In the picture, it just looks like a blob or a rectangular cloud, so this would have no correlation. The line of best fit is a line that describes the direction of the data. So when we look at the line of best fit, it needs to be in the center or as close to as many points as possible. The first step in finding the line of best fit is to take your data and plot it on a graph. Here we have licensed drivers in 2006. We're going to use the population on our x-axis and the licensed drivers on our y-axis. Once you've plotted your points, find something that is straight so that you could test where you're going to lie your line. I'm using a ruler. By holding the ruler on the opposite edge going through the side of the graph, I can see the positioning of my ruler with relation to my points. I can find the best place to put my line. When you found the correct or the best possible location for your line, lay the ruler down and draw your line. Now we need to find the equation of our line. To do that, we need two points. Try to find two points that lie the closest to the line that will give us a more accurate representation for our line. To find the equation of the line, we need to find the slope and the y-intercept. To do that, we will need to take the two points that we picked and use the slope formula to calculate the slope. Once you've substituted your points into the formula, calculate the slope out to two decimal places. Once you have your slope, pick one of the points that you used. Use the x and y coordinates along with the slope to substitute it into the linear equation y equals mx plus b. Simplify and solve for b. Once you have your b value, stick the slope and the b values together into the equation that will give you the equation of the line represented by slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b. Once you are done, you have found the line of best fit for that specific data. Let's summarize what we did. To find the line of best fit, plot your points on a coordinate plane to create a scatter plot. Once you have your scatter plot, try to find a line that goes through most of those points. Use that line and two points that lie pretty close to that line to calculate slope. Once you have your slope, use one of those points to then calculate the equation of the line. There you have it. Good luck.